cents. Two thousand. Well, you mean you're hitting it the wrong way? It's going opposite. It's not measuring the indicator. There's taper from here to here, three quarter of a thou. In that little bit? Yeah. You get way down here. Every time I do this, it changes. <laughs> Depending on what direction you're going, it's three thou there difference. In that in a half an inch? No, from here to here. Oh. You go this direction, it's two is a half a thou going that way. You're going this way with the same going now it's half a thou. You get way on down here. You're back to zero. It's two it's two to three over here. Higher. Which would be, Why? Yeah, I don't understand it. You want to cut it. We're one thou difference. <clears throat> Strange. Which is nice because this was twelve thou here or eight thou. So. Right. It's a big improvement. But how do you check what you need to do if you got nothing to go by? That's kind of hard to do. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this out of the way and go back over here, and I'm going to do a light cut. Across this whole surface. See what you get? See what we get. I like cuts worth it. Because I'm moving in and out. Yeah. Theoretically, I should go back to the same spot every time, but I don't know. It's the only one way to know for sure what you're going to do and do it. So let's see. I'm going to go out. Is that direction? <laughs> So that's 21 basically. This here was four up. So we're at 22 and a half. Down here we're at 21. 20 and three quarter. 20 and three quarter. And that dropped down to 19 and a quarter there. How the hell did you do that? Oh. <laughs> you did. <clears throat> you feel a difference inside. 
So now I'm going to take it out and <coughs> chuck it on a good surface. Yeah. Clean up the other end of it. Because we know that's not very even. See, so look at the marks. We'll leave it See how deep the mark is there? See how it's barely hitting on that one? Heavy here, but not, it's not even hitting mm -hmm. here. Barely hitting on that one at all. Don't even see it on that one. Then we're heavy again. Okay. So when you're holding it, that can make some harmonics where it bends more on one side than the other. Right. It's not cutting around either. It should be doing all this. It should be good. So now you have to do this cut, then you put it back in the truck again and do one more cut on the whole thing? Yeah. So. Nice and solid, pretty much. Now see it moves a little bit. That's because the chuck is not, those jaws are not straight in there. Hmm. We come out to the yeah. other ones yeah. there. Better. These jaws are like this. I tried cutting them around straight, but I don't have the tools to do it. They really need to be grounded. These are heat treated. It's hard to cut. Yeah. Heat treated metal, especially when you use a boring bar that's <clears throat> this long. <laughs> See over here? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So it just it shakes. It bounces every time it hits. It bounces over. <clears throat> I was taking real light cuts, but it wasn't working too good. So I'll have to. Make another go at doing that. Yeah. It's not very accurate. The jaws are getting worse and worse, so it's time to do something about that too. Time to start dialing this thing in to be more accurate than what it is. Eight. Way out. Eight? Wow. <laughs> it didn't used to, it used to be really accurate, but it's not anymore. Can you put them on the mill and do it? If I didn't clean up the whole thing. Well, it's a little bit. One more. See a little dimpy on there? Mm -hmm. We don't like dimples. Oh, 
rain that time. No more dimples. It's on the outside though. It's nice. that mark. Oh. This. It didn't clean all the way. Well, let's get that cleaned up then. Yep. Hey, we'll, we'll be back. Yeah, let's do the 